Yo, what's up guys? Yeah, Poe Game here. Today we're going to be hitting up the NU Ladder with a Tora Cat. Now, shout out to my fam from Brazil for the team. Of course, we got a nice little Tora Cat over here with Parting Shot, Flamethrower, Toxic, and will o -Wisp. So, sort of similar to an Incineroar, except it doesn't have Knock Off, and obviously it's Pure Fire type, which helps and doesn't help um, at the same time, I would say. Like, obviously the Dark is a nice resistance for Incineroar on a lot of different types. We have Specs, Sylveon, but I mean the idea is to just pivot, U-turn, teleport, you know, Volt Switch into threats like Choice Specs, Sylveon, and Choice Bands or Fetch. And then we have Ninjask, uh, one of the scary Pokemon on the ladder in my opinion, and Defog Rotom. So yeah, if you guys want the team, check out my website, Pokemon.com. I'm pretty high up on the ladder in the NU tier. And then again, the NU ladder is kind of low when it comes to uh, the top. Like, look at it. Uh, number one on the NU is 1635, so it's pretty low. And then everybody else here is like from uh, some NU ladder tour, I think. If I'm not mistaken. I was supposed to have Rabia. I wasn't supposed to. I hit him up. <laughs> I don't want to assume. But I'm number 21 on the ladder. But I, I hit him up to uh, to record. Uh, but I don't think he's around yet. So I'll probably have him the next time I ever play NU since it's very fun playing NU with Rabia. Maybe like Expulsal and other people too. But yeah. Uh, let me know what you guys think about Tora Cat though. You guys think it's actually going to be doing anything this? I played one test game. It was actually really good because it just pivoted like it pivoted into Flygon and got the Intimidate off and on a Toxic Croak as well. Uh, and we have Hoenn confirmed, who I believe did really well in the NU uh, tour, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, pretty well in NU so far, from what I'm what I'm what I'm thinking anyway. I think about somebody else. But uh, anyway, Sir Fetch is really good here. Talonflame is also a, a freaking problem, and the issue here is that if I lead off with Toracat and they go Sir Fetch, they got Scrappy, so they have the Intimidate on me. This is gonna be tough. I think the game's gonna be decided by um, by Spec Sylveon, but the the Talonflame again is gonna be really difficult for me to deal with. I kind of like Rotom because even if they lead Talonflame, like I could be Scarf, so you have no idea about me. I guess Ninjask in the late game could be pretty decent too, but it's probably going to be a flame body and can't break Talonflame anyway. Um, so again, I just got to decide what's best here. I feel like just leading Toracat and potentially uh, attempting to Will-O-Wisp uh, makes a lot of sense. They end up leading off with Sylvia. We're going to Parting Shot. I'm faster. Look at little Toracat go. Yo, look at Toracat ready, bro. Just can't wait to be king. <laughs> look at this little stance over here. Uh, but yeah, we'll Parting Shot right now. I guess I could Toxic too, depending on if this is Specs or not, because I don't really have a, a strong switch in for Specs, except for my own. Eh, I like that play though. I'm going to Parting Shot into my own. Because if they're Specs, I'll take. Yeah, they are Specs. Okay, I'll, I'll tank. Uh, and we're going to do it right back. Let's see if we can win one speed tie on our side. Now that's good for, uh, obviously, Ninjas there. Uh, we're going to go for another one, as we do not win any speed ties there, unfortunately. Um, they could be timid though, but I kind of doubt based on that damage output. I don't have a lot to knock this thing out in one hit. There's a problem. Sylveon's roll, like I said, was really strong when it came in, but it, it lost to almost everything besides Surfetch, and even then Surfetch is faster than it. So yeah, I mean, I think that trade was necessary. Alright. We're bringing out Young Ninjask here. We're gonna click Acro. Obviously, Rhydon can come out, but I'm always going to click Acro here because if I U-turn and Rhydon comes in, or as Sylveon stays in, I'm in a, a bad spot. And again, like my Ninjas is super strong here, especially coupled with Intimidate from this Pokemon. So uh, when they do end up going out into Rhydon, which is what I expect, I'll U-turn out into Surfetch since it's relatively safe. Nice. Okay, so... We get rid of the Sylveon there. Perfect. And now nothing can revenge kill me. Uh, Talonflame is going to come out. I have Toracat right here and ready to pivot it on it. And do absolutely nothing back. I don't know if they have Taunt, but again, I'm just going to Parting Shot all the time. There's Drapion. So this gives me my, um, this gives me my Surfetch. Uh, to bring it out and choice band close combat is so strong I i'm gonna click it because if talonflame doesn't burn me i kill it and i don't want drapion trying to stay in and be a little bit cheeky here so i'm going right for the choice band close combat i don't i'm okay with them knocking me off there especially because now i got the damage i need on drapion 
could be T-Spike, I suppose. But T-Spike doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah, this is really good for Rotom. Rotom's looking very scary late game. It's gonna close comment again. As they go Talonflame and unfortunately get the burn body on me. But we could bring out my uh, my Tauri Cat once more as they're forced to roost and just go for Flamethrower. I think as Drapion comes in. Do I have any special attack in this thing? Okay, it's decent. It's decent. I think Drapion sometimes runs like Protect sets too. Do I need this thing? It's still a good ride on pivot as well. And I don't have rocks, so for this to even be worth knocking off, right? Huh. Maybe. Maybe. Because I could easily go Torek out here. I'm just going to CC. Because I'd rather them Brave Burn me. And if they try and Roost, I'll do decent damage because it's neutral. Did Rabia hit me up? Nice. So I could actually get him in the second half of this. Not bad, not bad. Or, well, I just started this video, so... Nice. I'm going to get you in this vid. One sec. Cool. So we're going to have Rabia in the second half, like I said. So, again, I don't want them pivoting. Um, and, again, on close combat, I do so much damage. Wow, I did four. <laughs> I actually did no type of damage. There. That's his eight. Uh, but luckily, luckily, I have a few nightshades here that uh, that have a few things to say about this. So I can do damage to Rotom uh, here. Oh my god, I got disconnected. I can do damage to. Ro I don't know what's up with my internet, man. I know they're working on things here too. Like I don't have water right now, <laughs> which is very unfortunate. But this is this is like fat, fat, fat talent flame, and I want to keep Torakat alive because Torakat also can deal with Rotom to an extent. Uh, assuming Rotom's going to want to come out now, but if I get the Nightshade off from Rotom, then it dies to Acrobatics, and Talonflame will also die as well. So, I mean, like I said, uh, they're playing their Rhydon in a way. They're not bringing Rhydon in at all. They're using Rhydon in a way that I can hopefully never beat it, and and that was smart to go Drapion. So they go Rotom, and they Volt Switch here. I always go my own Rotom. And then they bring out Sir Fetch and click first impression. It should be Sir Fetch and click first impression. Because my own Rotom is also looking very deadly. Like I said, with Drapion and Sylveon gone, uh, it's looking very deadly. Because they don't not like Leaf Storms, they don't like anything. Of course, like I said, Sir Fetch being able to first impression is very scary too. So we're going to make the own Sir Fetch play as they first impression there. I'm just going to go for Brave Bird. Hey, what a nice little speed tie there too. Awesome. So this does allow me to go out to Rotom. And click Volt Switch. Again, they don't know if I'm choiced or not. And I'm going to play it like I am. Because this Rotom is a, a, a damn problem. This Rotom is a problem. And they give me Talonflame. Awesome. So I don't have to worry about being burnt there. So he always goes out to here. Let's go. Yeah, so we go Rotom on the Volt Switch. They bring out Sir Fetch. They could knock off here, but I always goes out to anyway. Oh, nice. I mean, I'll take Nightshade damage on everything. And now all I gotta do, I believe, is just go Torakat. Because I click Toxic on the uh, the incoming Radon. Oh, come on, man. Okay, I'll will right Radon. I guess Willow does the exact same thing and actually makes Ninjas be able to do something. So I get a nice little dodge there, too, which I am very grateful for. A little bit of justice. We'll defog these away as well. And I believe they're Choice Scarf too, so I'm just going to go for Leaf Storm. And this should be the beginning of the end because I believe I beat them 1v1 now. Because I just go for Nasty Plot here. I get my Citrus Berry. They can't do crap to me. I just plot again. Hey, Yeah, because they go Rotom and they can't beat me 1v1. Not bad. And the second I knock out Rhydon, I win. Let's go. Woof. All right. So, I'm Torakat did it. Torakat did it. The parting shots around, the pivoting. Uh, it, do, it 
it sucks that I missed Toxic. I ended up going for I, I went for Toxic first because I thought that Radon would be um, coming in more on Ninjask. And so here's the thought process. Basically, if I get a Ninjask on Rotom, right, U turn bops it because I can protect and, and then U turn after. So if they go right on, right on takes 6% from poison. Then the next turn, it takes 12% from poison. So it'd be taking that, plus it'd be taking U turn after. So I thought Toxic would be better. But after I missed, I was like, screw it, let's just go for Will And then we got a lucky dodge right back. So a little bit of justice. Lost a speed tie versus Sylveon. But I'll pause it. I'm going to get Rabia in this one. And then we'll be right back. All right, guys. So Rabia is here. If you guys didn't know, I do a lot of NU with him. Uh, in this, uh, it sucks that he has to fight this game, the first, like... <laughs> what do you mean? This is a free game. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at our Torcat, cat, it goes in! Yeah, okay. It's 252 speed, so it's actually faster than x -Plowed. No, it's not. Not if it's timid. Um... Yeah, yeah, I'm about to say, let's just ignore the fact that he's got an x -Plowed and we have no normal resist. <laughs> we don't even really have Pokemon that are faster than it. Oh, God. Okay, look, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, bro. You literally lead off. You literally lead off at Sylveon and get a kill. That's what I was thinking, but like, is it really fine? No, uh, perfect, perfect, fine. perfect, perfect. It's fine. We got the lead matchup right. I am age voice. And I don't care. Yep, yep. Click it again. <laughs> click it again. I have a whole Zatu, but he's not. We already know he's not. Yep. Dead. Click it again. No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. The giant threat is gone. Now, guys, that's just a little taste of what you can expect from Rabia. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe to him. His channel link is down below. Uh, how many subs do you have now? Three hundred something. 422, I think. Okay, so yeah, bro, he's almost a 500, guys. Let's help get my boy to 500 subs. Bro, click it again. Yeah, we clicked it again. Yeah, click it forever, bro. Alright, that was unfortunate, but you know what? You click knockoff now, it's your facts for five. Yeah. And tell me, tell you what, you know what wins? Ninjask, immediately. <laughs> yep. I just want a little bit more chip on the Zonger. Maybe get a little bit of chip on this Garbodor, too. Awesome. Oh, get down. I am going Zatu here, this time. Oh, they have pain split. All right, we I have been splitted. We are teleporting. Yup. All right, the good thing is... Damn, imagine we got that bronze on and they doubled again into Guzzlord. <laughs> but yeah, guys, go ahead and subscribe to Rabbit. His link is down below. Great dude. Uh, seriously, great dude. And um, great content. He's on his way to 1,000 subs. So, you know, y'all want to get him there. Uh, you already saw oh, Torcat yeah. put in work in the first game. In this one, you're going to see it pivot a lot. Uh, I don't want to go Rotom here, because it just doesn't do anything. I could go Fetch to just first impression. I felt, I felt like that's the best bet. Yeah. I'll, he, he should know where CB by now, but, like, I don't care. No, this is literally the best play. Like, this mod is a threat, even if they go Garbodor. The thing is, after that, they can double very easily, <laughs> because... Of uh, because of the maybe we go Torakat here. Yeah. Because it stops oh, the Oh, that's Lord. not Torakat. That would have been Rotom Cut. Oh god. Rotom died. Not the Torakat. Uh oh, he's about to go Zato on the parting shot. Yeah, he's gonna he's be forced out. out. Right back. He's gonna he's gonna go right out, and then we're gonna do it again. That's true. It's not like really do anything after that. Nice. Oh, he stayed in. See if we can get a greedy t uh greedy hazard after that. Stop pain splitting. <laughs> I'm the one in pain. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're really we're, we're looking really good though because the Rocky Helmet's knocked off. Like Ninjas crushes. Mm -hmm. Maybe we go Rotom and Volt Switch now. That way, this gets the chip for Ninjas. Yeah, that could be good. Because I feel like if we go Surfetch, it's gonna be infinite. And plus, we can we can't pain split. We have Citrus Berry. Oh. If I go Surfetch, I just need to like CC at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna just go this. This works. There's no way that a Specs Age voice could kill us from here. I agree. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh. That took yep. nothing. Yeah, no, that is a full Fizz Duff, and I don't care. I'm CCing this. He Hell can go yeah. Zatu. Go ahead. Ah, Big damage. 24. Big damage. It's gonna teleport now, bro. Oh, four. Yeah, go ahead and catch him on the teleport. Feeling a little bit more chill. <laughs> go ahead and catch him on the teleport, bro. Uh. In. Oh, that did a little bit too much. Yeah, it's fine, bro. You get a little bit of chip right now with Volt Switch. And then yep. we just U-turn spam. Yup. Or if you're real, you SD now and we win. Yup. <laughs> what are you gonna do now? You gonna SD? Yup. Oh my god. Oh! Oh, it's Scarf, dude. Oh, it has... 
Damn it, it has they have they have aftermath. That's fine. Claim and... our kill. Alright. Wait. We can still win. With yeah. fetch. Very this easily, is... actually, yeah. This is winnable. Still free. How is that scarf damage? That this I, I don't I thought Rodan would take that. Yeah, a yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, I did not expect that at all. We just go fetched here? I think we have to. Yeah. Okay, awesome. So do we CC again? I want to. Uh, he loses if he ever loses. If he loses, they lose. They lose, yeah. Really lose. Yeah. Go ahead and CC, because then we have Rotom. He's about to be EV to be faster, and I'm going to be really angry. But don't, don't say in them. They go Rotom. Oh my god, he didn't. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, the great thing is first impression kills things, and we have we have a lot of sacks, so we can always click yeah, this. People to the madman. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, now. Now you go surf fetch again, and you click close combat again. <laughs> it's, such a, it's such a choke, but you click it again. Because they're gonna go broad zone. They have to. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> I didn't want to admit it there, but yeah. <laughs> now, does Gozor Fair. die to first impression? No. Because we might have to click close combat again. <laughs> oh, yeah, we might. Alright, let's see. Hmm, how am I feeling right now this turn? If Torakat was slower, then Guzzler would be a different story, but... I really want to just first impression. Okay, 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 go for what you think is best. Because I, I think Torakat beats it 1v1, dude. Unless it's like, rest, because you get the Intimidate off. This is fine, we live this. Yeah, you do. Just parting shot. Oh wait, we win 100% now. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah we're That's just... what happens when you run this terrible, terrible, this terrible, terrible. <laughs> this horrible terrible Good game, okay, bro. I I noticed that they said have fun, but I didn't want to say have fun back after we killed the explode. <laughs> there are a lot of people out to do that. And I'm just like, come on now. Oh, he knows. Yeah. Oh, no. Yo, yeah, Sir Fetch killing everything in this, bro. Besides x Plot. It, it killed. What killed Zatu? What killed Zatu? Uh, Ninjask. Oh, Fetch okay. killed uh, Gar, Blisk, Zong. Not bad. So. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, and Torakat was useful. Yup. It pivoted once on Healers. Scarf Healers really. like. scared us right there. Alright, we're gonna pause it, guys. We'll be right back. That was great, though. Cook sesh. <laughs> That's what it comes back to. It's about to be a cook sesh. Guys, Ninjas devours our opponent. Do you like our uh do you like the avatar I picked? Oh of course, of course. Now it's called Dreepy at Bat, so I'm ready for the Dreepy at Bat. People thought that we were the Dreepy at Bat. But no, we're the pitcher. We're the ace. Excellent. Rosh this. Alright. So the great thing is I can protect first and then you turn, and then when I get the static, I can heal Bell later with our spec Sylveon. Excellent, excellent. Get out of there, Pikachu. Who are you even gonna go out into? Oh my god. Good night. <laughs> it did so much damage. So much. Oh, I know who we go out into. I don't know because we lose to, Z uh, to Scyther because I know it's gonna be SD Quick Attack. I'm still going Sir Fetch. Sir Fetch is good enough. <laughs> yeah, I got the first impression for the Star Reap. If you go Scyther and you gotta sack it, you got Brave Bird to take it down with you. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't think going Zatu is the play on that? Maybe Torkat. Torkat higher should be good. Torkat could have been better there, yeah. Oh, that's a fairy valley. Unfortunately, we do have the counter. Oh, yeah, Torkat. I was like, where? Torkat. Oh. <laughs> Torkat. Yeah! Torkat. <laughs> oh, and he wants to go for game. Woo. You better get Willowed. Everything's gonna get Willowed. Or should I Pyre, pyre Shot smarter? Because I can get out so beyond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Party Shot way smarter. Because if they SD. It doesn't matter, we bring out Sylveon now. Yup. Right back down to no attack. It's still gonna do a million percent. Oh, definitely. We're about to lose like 60%. Oh! Okay. I mean... I, I could go Zatu. Zatu's helmet, yeah, we could sack it. Yeah, cause like, we can beat... Can we, wait, can we beat Scyther? Yeah, Torakat can beat Scyther. <laughs> And this yeah. thing gets a kill when it comes back in. I'll go, I'll, like, I like Zatu for Bronzong, but it's slower than Sir Fetch. Yeah. 
What do you think? You think that's best? Uh. I could also go back up to Orcat. We claim a kill with Sylveon if he ever goes out to like star me. Yeah, that's what, what I'm saying. Touch, if he locks into a shitty move. That's what I'm saying. So I feel like Zatu is the play. Because we yeah. still have Defog on Rotom, and we can beat Bronzong easily. So I'm, I'm going to do Zatu. Maybe they'll Flame Charge. They oh, did not. That up. Okay. That works. Yeah, because then we can go out into. Perfect. <laughs> the image uh, Pedro just sent me of that is amazing. Excellent. Alright, now he's got the star me out they're here. Ice, the... Are they going to Ice Beam, or are they going to go for. Because uh... I want to save I want to save this as a sack as well. I want all my Pokemon. Or he'll just rapid spin and then go for Ice Beam. So you want me to go Sylveon then? If they go for analytic move, it's hard here though. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out is this like spin star makes if it's rapid spin and then it ain't doing shit. To Sylveon, yeah, at all. They have a Scyther. Yeah. They have a Scyther. Maybe I just roost. Because if they try. Probably boots anyway. Yeah, I'll, I'll roost. I'll roost. Alright, yep, yeah. Yep. So, kill time. Yep. I can click Shadow Ball here too. Yeah, I'm Shadow Ball if I'm you. Oh, oh no! My children, they oh. were trying to they were trying to take all of them. Thank God. <laughs> Yo. Alright, now this thing's out. Is it time but... to lose? We got a Torric at. What do you mean lose? Oh yeah, wait, it beats the rest of their members. Okay, I wouldn't say it beats their fetched, but you know. Yeah. Please eat this. Good, Please. good, 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 okay. good. There. Yeah. Yep. There we go. <laughs> I kind of want to save uh, Torricat. No, I don't need to. I don't need to. We cook close combat. Yeah, we can just throw it away here. Yeah, I'm. A oh, oh no, oh no! You took some damage there, buddy. Mm. This is fine. This is fine. Yeah, I'm gonna throw it away. Yeah. If they're Roost, then they can't touch, uh, I don't think they can touch Ninjask anyway. Like, I don't think they're quick attack. Ninjask should be fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm going Ninjask. You think they're quick? I'm still protecting just to make sure. Yeah, it's a smart play. <laughs> they are quick. Huh, do we need to sack something here? But do we want it to be Ninjask, though? I feel like it... Uh, I feel like it is Ninjask. I almost wonder if it's, like, Rotom. I don't know. Do yeah. we need Rotomo still? If they get up rocks, then yeah. Ninjask is useless. I, I feel like I go hard to fetch and click first impression. Yeah. Yeah, fetch is a better play here. Okay, good. He what, took that. nothing. Yeah, fine. Thank God. <laughs> get out. Don't worry, he's gonna be sword stance or fetched with quick attack? <laughs> Yo, we're gonna lose! <laughs> Yo. Okay, never Hard, mind. Sylveon. Hard. Oh. Stop that! You stop this that right now! You stop oh. that right now! You stop that right now! Oh, no. You stop that right now, sir! I'm on me! Big damage. It's so. Oh. Okay. Well, I you're... don't know what that means. That doesn't... I don't know what that move means. You're gonna die? <laughs> I'm. I'm faster. <laughs> Unless they steal my base speed? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> Alright. Now. Carefully. This thing gets quick attack, doesn't it? It does, it does. SD quick attacks a set. What do I do? <laughs> uh, I think I stay in. I think I stay in. Because if they have to close yeah. combat to kill me, and then I can rotom them. I think you just hope he's not SD quick attack. It's oh leak. god. It's leak. There's the leak. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Okay. You're gonna catch this brave bird, bro. This is for all the far fetch out there that got tie. cooked. Nah, it's not a speed tie. They were skill swap bronze on, which means this is min speed. Oh no. This I is... don't want that. Hey, we should use that type of bronze on. Honestly, Iron Defense Song in general is kinda cool. Jeez. I don't know about with speed swap though. <laughs> <laughs> I think Moet did something like that before. Moet well, we did, uh, oh, we're 1586. Not bad. Where's that on the ladder? Top 15. Easy. Is it? Yup. Oh, we were already top 15 before we oh, started. We? Yeah, yeah. 15. Oh, shit. Yeah, didn't yeah the ladder just lies. Ladder. 1586 is number 13. Not bad. bad. That's alright. Alright, you know our next mission. We have to win the next game at all costs. 
Yep. We have to get that top ten. <laughs> we have to get the top ten for the title. <laughs> Tor yo, Tor got kind of clean. I'm gonna be honest. Like it made us not lose to Scyther. There, there are definitely a lot worse Pokemon <laughs> we could be using. Why do you say that with a laugh? You <laughs> don't disrespect, <laughs> guys. When I when I exactly why I say that while laughing. Tell them, tell them exactly what I told you when I said I was using a Tori cat. Tell them exactly. Oh, remember. Tell Holy him, shit. He told it's me maybe ten minutes that I forgot. <laughs> it's a goldfish. He told <laughs> he told me exactly who passed me the team. Oh yep. Catalyst door instantly do. <laughs> instantly. <laughs> oh man, it's so funny. Alright guys, we'll pause it. We'll be right back. Unfortunately guys, we're gonna lose to Tante over here. I don't Tante. What do we we don't even have a real rock resist. Surf edge doesn't count. It's not a rock resist. It's still beyond. <laughs> Dude, this game is like rocks endeavor. <laughs> this game is gonna be so difficult. I gotta think of something real smart. I'm gonna lead with the cat. Good, good, good. Get a toxic off. This was a fine lead. Or party shot. Party shot's fine. Actually, he, he got a whole star. Yeah, party shot. Through. Party shot. Yeah. Now oh, my boy German got the fire vogel. Oh, he is. Oh no. Oh god. I Why see. don't we have anything that wants to beat a fire type on this team? You just switched it out. <laughs> you just switched it out right now. Man, I don't make the rules, <laughs> but Torcat does not count. I mean, they don't have nightshade switchings. <laughs> they don't have normal types. Oh, is that right? Tell me more. <laughs> oh, you can tell. You can teleport too. You can teleport and get the same position. Then this time, click Toxic with Torcat. Yeah, I think that's a little better. Delmise. I mean, we have a whole ass ninjask with acrobatics. Do we not? Is isn't Surfetch better to knock off? I'm, bro. You already know he's gonna go T flame. But he's gonna burst. We have the heal bell. We have heal bell. We're fine. We have heal bell. Good enough also, me. it's U turn. We have the Weezer, but yeah, yeah, he's U turn. So this is spin Velm. Yeah, thirty five. Mm. Big damage. No helmet either. Love to see it. Unfortunately, we don't have a poison resist, so he just kind of gets to sludge bomb here. Yes, yes, they do. Oh, the, we're, we're on the same page with that, guys. I don't think we're hitting top ten today, but we did hit top thirteen. Ah, don't say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, soon we can brave bird. Puka, you can go down, baby. I'm gonna, I'm gonna feed you after this battle. Uh, nah. I just, I could spam knock. End, but like, I kind of like having this around with her first impression to pick off the Starmie, you know? Yeah, I like it as well. It's, I mean, it's good in general. It gets to click close combat and stuff too. Like, even yeah. with a million resists, like, it's still strong. We don't really need Zatu, I guess. Kind of nice though. It's, it's gonna be there for the pivot. Just, just, just bring in Zatu, dude. Maybe they'll go like a rock and SD up as we click foul play. Oh. Oh, awesome. Yes. All right, just teleport immediately. Yes. Yes! Plus five! Let's go! Danger averted. <laughs> Danger is there. Oh my lord. Did we do it? Did we do it? No. No, it's no not way. top ten. Not plus five. We're number we're twelve now. Alright guys, we'll be right back. Alright guys, we're back. This is actually the person I fought when I tested the team for the first time before I started recording. So I know they're set. It's White Herb Blastoise, Scarf Flygon, um, lead off with Sylveon and click Hyper Voice Sylveon. Sub three attack. It's sub three attack. Gunk shot, drain punch, and sucker punch. Toxic croak. And the Zatu is slower than our Surfetch. Seems Excellent. you've led correct. Go ahead and click. I want a mystical fire here immediately. By the way. Why not? Can't do anything. We have heal bell. Yeah, they're gonna go copper rage anyway. We I know that. Nothing. <laughs> Are they, this heavy slam about to hurt? <laughs> but go right into Zatu. Ooh, Tori cat. Counter. <laughs> Oh god, but it, <clears throat> the problem is he's got Deancey, which just straight up blocks parting shot. Bro, double to Sylveon. Just double to Sylveon. Ah, uh, you're right, you're right. All yeah, right. and click Hyper Voice. It, does, it only does 26 to Copper Roger, by the way. But click Hyper Voice anyway. That's fine. <laughs> yes, good, good, good. It's nothing. Why is this? He changed it. He changed it. It did 63 last time. I'm, I'm about to <gasps> click it again. I don't care. I, I almost want to just try to bounce him back. Yeah, go ahead. No, he's going to Diamond Storm. For sure. Yes! Oh. Okay, never mind. We just got the lowest rock. What the fuck's this 50 to 56? <laughs> That's the difference. That's the difference. That's amazing. 
All right, this Game is... Let me give you a mineral into the max. Hey, go to our cat, bro. Go to our cat. He's sub three. I want to just age voices as he subs. There's no. I'm way. feeling something dangerous here. Okay, that's a hella big throw, but I'm with you. Oh, I mean, Torcat's actually just like guaranteed best play. <laughs> yeah. Okay, maybe Torcat was a little bit better there. They go ahead party shot now. Yup. You about to go Zatu? You about to block it? Yup. And then go Blastoise, and you click party shot again. Yup. Now in Blastoise, we go hard, Sylveon. You said smash three attacks, right? Yeah. You might be faster, dude. Well, no. Nah, he's he hits 255. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, he actually just surfed immediately. Okay. That, that's fair. I'm back. Alright, the biggest threat is the Toxicroak. But, and that's it's max defense Zatu. Okay. But this that's thing kills fine. everything, so. I mean, we're also making it to where Ninjask just kind of wins. Yeah. Was he Sucker Punch on Croak? Yeah, it was sub 3 attack. One of them okay. was Sucker Punch. And unfortunately, this is not to a KO. That's fine. We got the Zod. It's going to take 63%. That's fine. We got the Zod. <laughs> Go ahead, Nightshade. Look, now we, now we claim a kill literally any time our Sylveon's out. Yep. That's excellent. Yep. Go ahead, Nightshade. I'm roosting. Actually, wait. No, <laughs> just, why? You get less. I thought he'd switch, baby. You know? At the 13 percent. Oh, you were what? right. Your play was right. My All play was wrong. Your play was right. We just go hard, uh, Sylveon. Anyway, it's not gonna die. Yeah, I feel like he's gonna smash, and then he's gonna die to foul play plus like first impression. It has white herb though. You think he'll actually die? To, uh, but why not just go hard, Sylveon, and not sack Zatu so we can sack it later? How much does Sylveon take from plus two? I don't. Know this calc. I'm gonna say 70. You want me to cal? I'll calc it. I'll calc it. I'll calc it. I, got, I already got it going. I already got it. Uh, oh, we seven. actually eat that. Wow. Okay. Very easily, right? Yeah. Like, it barely does. It does 52 to 62. Or, no, 58 to 69. But, um, still fine. Yeah, even on a crit, we'll eat that. That's a damn near max roll, by the way. <laughs> nice. That throw out of here. Yo. Okay. Sylveon put in some mad work this game. Holy shit. Yeah, that's great. And also, uh, Rotom wins too. <laughs> yeah. I'm age voicing. Do it. He's subbing. Never mind, he's not. You know what? That's fine. So the, the Zatsu's coming out, it doesn't take any damage. I almost want to SD. But like... It's almost a throw though. It's almost a throw. Because... U turn's better, I think. Yeah. Because then you can bring out Sir Fetch and click knock. Because mm -hmm. you're faster than this. Unless they change the speed tier on this mod. There's no way. I refuse. <laughs> Even if he did, he doesn't do any damage to us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I agree. Get that out of here. Unfortunately, he's about to go Toxicroak and get that nice little sub <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be real sad. I mean, you can go hard Rotom if you feel in it. It's a, it's a little bit of a throw too, but we do it anyway, because you can Vault Switch out into uh, to Zatu. Yeah. I think a lot of the rest of this game is just going to come down to, like, trying to not have that behind a sub. Oh, this is weird. We just go hard Zatu on this, right? Yeah, this is Scarf, I think. Yeah. Zatu's a fine I guess you could also knock, but... Oh, he outraged. Immediately. Huh. Uh, you know, what's awful is I don't even know what we switch into this. I think it's Sir Fetch. Yeah, I, don't think, I think you have to go Sir Fetch, yeah. And just click close combat. Yeah. Well, it's the the win is straightforward from here, right? Because yeah. Ninjask... Don't give Croak a sub. Yeah. It should be fun. Yeah. I think even Jask to it KOs off to it. It does, but if we take too much, we'll lose yeah. to... Uh, we'll lose to, to... To Zatu, so... At least it's not Life Orb Croak. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, this Leftovers Black Sludge one is still annoying, too. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so we, okay. just, we just don't give it a sub. Yeah, you, you don't deserve the sub, friend. This is gonna be scary. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he drained. Do you go Ninjask and SD? I really want to. 
I feel like you do because we take less from. Mm -hmm. We don't take two Rocky Helmet. Well, let, let, let me let me calc. Let me calc real quick because, um, if Ninjas doesn't matter, like if Toxic Oak's Sucker Punch. Toxic Oak Sucker Punch does forty to forty-seven. So do we take two Rocky Helmets plus that? Helmets, how much was Sucker doing at max? Uh, 47. That's from non-adamant. That's jolly. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, okay. Helmet over two turns should be like 33%. Okay, okay. So I think we could just acro it twice. Okay, cool. That's scary. Now, SD unfortunately would have been the best play there. Well, it would have worked what? that turn, yeah, yeah. This is fine. This is still fine. Yeah. A Lester, let me let me calc adamant just so I know if we lose it's to the highest roll possible. Oh, there's 52 So it would be to the highest roll possible. We right. lose excellent All right, now show me the 52 Yes, that's top there 10 baby. Go. Good game that, Woo! that should be top 10 50 97. That's close. That's close. Come on. Come oh on. my we're tied for 11. Are you fucking with me? No. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second Wait a second. No, I'm gonna keep it refreshing because sometimes the ladder likes to add a point or two too. Come on. Come on. Give us top 10, baby. Give it top 10. Don't be tired for a lot. Our GXE is so much better than Tog. No offense it to really Tog. Is. No offense to you, Tog. None taken. Nah, full offense. <laughs> full G offense. GXE doesn't even matter. I'm going to be honest. Okay, but ours is a whole fucking 10 yeah, high. But, but you know why? You know why? Like, look at all the GXE out here. You know why it's like that? Rabbi and I were just talking about it. This ladder is a demon. You'll either fight really good players with really good teams or. They're gonna roll up with Silly Cobra, Glare Spam, Silly Cobra, not Sanaconda, Silly Cobra, <laughs> Silly Cobra, Sub Coil Dunsparce, and they're gonna rock you. Okay? That's a good team. Hey, I mean, we just use Tora Cat. So, like, I have nothing against Silly Cobra. Why is the ladder not update? Oh, yeah. We're, well, I mean, we're number 11, so we hit top 15 oh, on the man. ladder with, with, with Tora Cat. Oh, we're not, damn close to number one. Yeah, look, look, we're 1598. There you go. We're really close to that real one. We'll get it, guys. That's the goal. Excellent. We'll get it. But, guys, make sure you check out Ravia. His channel link will be down below. And, uh, yeah. I will see you guys uh, next time. Maybe I hit number 11 on the ladder with Torque Out. Maybe, maybe that's it all. Maybe that's it. I'll, t I'll title this. We hit number 11 on the ladder with a Torah cat. Check out Rabia. Please subscribe to him. Get him to 500 subs. And uh, drop a Draco merch probably coming out this week. So, there guys. Anything else to say, buddy? Uh, we getting top 10. We are. We are. Stay on the watch. Yep. Be back later.